Hello and welcome to Nightcrawlers. This game has just come out into Steam and if you would like to check it out, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored and here's the thing about this game. This is in incredibly fun. So much physicality to the way that movement is handled because let's face it, it's all floppy. It's all floppy. There's ragdolls. I almost fell off and died almost immediately right here. I'm actually having a pretty good run right now. This is a roguelite dungeon crawler, and there are so many really, really cool items and cosmetics that you can unlock here. I actually just unlocked a Viking outfit. I'm wearing a peasant outfit right now because that kind of suits me, but yeah. Anyway, point is, you are given certain amounts of objectives when you enter particular rooms. The rooms are random as far as I can tell. They have a number of traps, uh, saw blades and spike pits and all kinds of other things. And then you can, of course, summon enemies to fight. Now, when you stand still, your ranged attack is launched automatically. However, there is a melee button and you can press that melee button and you can do damage with it. In an AoE around you, of course. And you can also use that to destroy boxes and various other things to co collect essence. Now, as you can see, I need to activate this arcane shrine in the area. So that's exactly what I am going to do. We're going to just do that. I'm actually not entirely sure if this is even the right thing to do. I'm going to jump away from here. Thank you very much. Yep, they're all dead. Aren't they? They should all die. I, at, at least I hope so, because they fell off, right? 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 <laughs> I can only hope that that's the case because if not, then I'm, then I'm, I'm gonna have to jump back on there. No, no, they they are dead, right? Oh no! It says defeat all enemies summoned by the shrine, but I think I defeated all of them, didn't I? I mean, they they all died technically. I'm I, now, and I see now I'm not entirely sure. Oh dear! I was having a good run, but now uh, I should have probably stayed on the. Uh, stayed on the platform or something like that and it seems as though the enemies have just fallen off and they're now uh, making things a little bit difficult for me right okay i'm actually not entirely sure what i can even do here now guess i'll just die yeah there you go that is actually hilariously enough lava so technically the enemies should have died and i should have gotten the objective for that so now, how do we fight enemies? Well, usually what you want to do is you want to press F and then you get these guys to come down from the heavens and they basically just drop right on your face and you're going to have to murder them. Now, obviously, the first couple of enemies that you're going to fight, they're pretty easy, you know? They are pretty easy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I actually just respawned and I still have the crawler duty there of defeating the enemies. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe... Hmm, okay, that's actually interesting because I've never actually had that happen before. When I when I died before, I was killed by enemies and not by any environment. So this is going to be interesting to find out what exactly is going on here. Because, as you can see, it's completely different from what you might expect. Uh, I need to summon these guys. There we go. I'm actually wondering whether traps work on opponents as well, hopefully. Anyway, every single time you level up after... A certain amount of kills you are given a choice of three different cards by the way these cards have absolutely amazing art on them in my opinion i think they look very very cool anyway an impulse from the cosmos forces enemies away 20 melee damage i think i'm gonna go for 20 melee damage that kind of sounds the most useful for me specifically because i generally do tend to use the melee attack quite often as you can see look at how much damage it does it does 68 damage for me right now which is absolutely incredible and that basically will kill most normalish enemies very fast indeed. So I shouldn't have to worry too much about, well, anything. So there you go. 20 defense, double my, oh my, double my melee damage. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, and you can also pick up things like enchantments and artifacts, and you can then enchant your gear in between runs. There's a number of meta progression upgrades that you can get as well in between runs that are, um determined by how much essence you've collected throughout your run. Essence are these little blue wisps that appear um, when you destroy things or when you destroy enemies. And uh, like, for example, this thing, yeah, you see all that blue essence right there. I'm also picking up something else as well. I think health or something like that. Yeah, so there's also that. Anyway, now that I have doubled my melee damage, oh, that is... Ho, ho, ho. I don't even understand how how these guys are even going to be able to defeat us now. Anyway, you also have the ability... <gasps> what? 
that is what I have right now, equipped. The Agony Spike? Okay, no wonder we're doing so much damage right here. Anyway, this is uh, obviously not what I'm going to be equipping. I'm going to extract the essence of this particular shield. And then we can move on. And look at that, we're getting a massive amount of essence. Now, technically, you don't have to move on to the next room. You can stay in that room and you can do whatever amount of damage you want to do. And then you can move on. So there is no limit to how many enemies you can fight, but they are, of course, going to give you less experience over time because that's just how it goes, of course. You know, you're not going to double your maximum life. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. That sounds pretty fun to me, but yeah, um, that's the point. Um, if you do decide to stay in a room and just consistently attack the, the same enemies, then, as I say, you're probably going to be getting very little amounts of benefit from it. But it is a possibility. So if you feel like maybe your character needs a little bit more essence, maybe you need a little bit more practice or something like that, then you can, of course, do that. I'm going to increase my damage once again. Wow, we are doing so much damage here. Absolutely incredible damage. Okay, what's this? Ooh, nice. Okay, look at this. 7% increased experience gained. Yes, I will equip that. And then we will extract the other thing. Um, they do recommend, by the way, using a controller for this game. Now, for me personally, I'm using the keyboard, as you might expect. I am using the keyboard. It's pretty obvious that I'm using the keyboard because of all the keybind, you know, uh, prompts and all that stuff. Um, but they do say that it's recommended to use a keyboard. I can definitely see the reason why they recommend a keyboard. Uh, they recommend a controller, that is. <laughs> now I'm getting mixed up. Anyway, I do see why they recommend a controller. But it's not necessary. It is not necessary whatsoever. I'm using the cursor keys and G and the default keybinds. They are going to be adding keybinding uh, customization later on, very soon. And that's perfectly fine with me. Personally, for me, I do not find these controls to be hard at all. Um, they, they take a little bit of getting used to. Just get just just bear that in mind. Keep that in the, the forefront of your mind. They take a bit of getting used to, of course. But I only had to do one run. And then I was basically perfectly fine with that. And as you can see, you can actually gain additional abilities as well. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Anyway, gain fleeting haste, Alacritus Shrine. Hmm, nice. Okay, look at that. Now we're actually running running real fast. That's nice. Okay, let's just run along here. I kind of want to gain more health, if at all possible. I'd like to try and get Kill some them. some skill that provides me with additional HP. Um, regeneration when I, uh, when I kill things or something like that. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the physics-based nature of the game as well, because if you jump around and you walk around, you can see the character is very floppy. You know what I mean? It's very much physics-based in that case. Okay, so let me actually just be a little bit careful here. Don't really want to get myself killed. There we go. We're doing so much damage, though. Really, so much damage. This is the first time I've actually done this much damage with a character before, so I'm very much interested in, in seeing how far we can actually go. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna extract the essence of this. <gasps> look at this! We got another scepter, a different scepter. Look at how much damage this does. This is actually crazy. However, the other one does give us pl plus two life gain on kill. However, there are skills that can give us 5% life back. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip this one, the one that does 40 damage. And then, I'm going to extract the essence of the old one. There we go. Now, bear in mind, when you die, you keep your gear. You keep the gear that you have equipped, and uh, then, that, then you can go on to the next run. As far as I'm aware, I don't think there is a limit on that, but obviously don't quote me on it, because I've only very briefly uh, done a couple of runs and everything. So yeah, that, you know, just, just bear that in mind. Ooh, 15% chance to heal. Okay, sounds fun to me. That sounds great. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're dead. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, these guys are actually doing uh, quite a lot of damage to me right now. Let me see. Did it open up the uh, the doorway? No, it didn't. Aha. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, things start to get Enemy pretty survived. crazy with the amount of um, the amount of battling that you're going to have to do. But of course, that is perfectly fine because the combat system is actually really fun, or at least I think it is. Maybe you won't think so, but I think it is very fun because. You kind of have to be really strategic about how you handle opponents. As you can see, this guy is 
um, emitting some kind of AOE. And you need to be careful not to get hit by that. Because as I say, uh, getting health unless you have some kind of regeneration skill is a, is a little bit tricky. So bear that in mind. And there we go. The way forward has emerged. Oh no, jump away, jump away. Ah, I'm getting murdered. Okay, wait a minute. What's this? Aha. Oh, now that's nice. Give me that. Yes. Oh yeah. Now we are very much cooking with gas. That is absolutely amazing. We are looking real good. Unfortunately, <laughs> the only problem with my current run is that I don't have enough HP. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to regenerate it somehow. But let me actually have a look. Strength through design. Right, okay. Well, that shouldn't be too bad for me. As you can see, these enemies really want me. Ah, let's run away. There we go. Kill them. Okay, and we've got 20 melee damage. Heal yourself for 50%. Yes. Give me that. Okay, yeah, look look at my HP now. Oh, yes. Look at my HP now. Now we are definitely fine. All right, let's take a look here. Mm, I don't really care about either of these. I think I will equip the new ones, and then we'll extract the other ones. There we go. Uh, anytime we can get more essence, I am on board. Thank you very much. Bear in mind, when enemies spawn, by the way, they, they do have a small period of invulnerability. So you can't just attack them immediately. You can't get, like, free damage on them or anything like that, because, of course, you can't. I mean, you know, if you, if you literally got free damage on them straight away then it would basically nullify a lot of the uh, a lot of the challenge because of course if i you know if you have a lot of melee damage like i do right now i could theoretically just murder these guys in two hits most of the time um but yeah i mean you can see exactly why that might be um if they didn't have those invulnerability frames but thankfully they do so obviously it makes it much more challenging in that regard anyway let me see where we can go over here i'm just going to destroy this get get out get out of here thank you very much Okay, so most of the rooms, you're probably just going to be fighting goblins and various other things, and then you won't have to worry too much. But these skeletons are actually kind of hard. Okay, there we go. No, we're fine, we're fine. We can actually attack people through the environment too, which is actually quite nice. Okay, so let's have a look here. Uh, enhanced poison damage. That's actually pretty good, because I have a poison damage staff at the moment. So I'm thinking we'll probably use that. I won't be using this because, as you can see, I have an insanely cool rare chest right now. So we're just going to extract that as well. Let's just do some more damage here. I need to find another summoning circle. Where is that? There we go. There's the summoning circle. And let's just summon them. And then we're just going to run away and do some damage. Ah, okay. Oh, that one just fell off the edge there. Now, most of the opponents are going to have diving abilities. So what they can do is they can dive at you and they will do damage. And you've got to be a bit careful on that because that's going to, it's going to hurt. You know, it's going to hurt. If all of them do that at the same time, yeah, you're going to have some big, big problems. But yeah, there is also, uh, oh, heal yourself for 20%. Ooh, that's nice. 5% chance to heal. Ah, you know what? I'm going to heal myself for 20%. I think that sounds like a pretty decent idea. Um, but yes, uh, the developer has actually said, that they are going to be making it easier to understand when you are hit. So when you take damage. Uh, for me personally, I'm not sure if that's an issue. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, 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 think, I think there does need to be a bit more of an indicator to it. But I know that someone else was also saying something about that in the review section of the game. And I, yeah, I, th I, th I think, I, I, yeah, sure. I think I can see it. But for me personally, when I've gotten hit, I kind of know. I kind of know I'm getting hit because I'm surrounded by the opponent or whatever. So, you know, that kind of thing does tend to be quite obvious to me. But there are some moments where you think, well, did I get hit there? I'm not sure, you know, kind of thing. So I guess that's kind of to be expected that it's nice to, to know. Yeah, like, for example, there I did get hit. But you can see that small um, that small number, that small orange number pop up. So, there's, there, you know, there are improvements on the way if you were uh, worried about that kind of thing. But for me personally, I, that's a very minor very minor issue. Okay, so let me actually just have a look here. Where do I go? Ah, here we go. Oh, yes. Also, you should bear in mind that the camera is fixed. I don't believe you can move the camera in any way. So, you know, if you thought that, you know, you could turn it around or whatever, no, no, you're not going to be able to do that, which is perfectly fine for me because it is indeed a, uh, you know, it's a difficulty, you know, it's a, it's a challenge. And obviously the physicality of the, the game itself, you know, as I've said before, the 
the movement style and the way that the physics are handled very much a case of yes the camera is very much like this on purpose so anyway I need to find one more summoning circle and then I should be able to get through to the next area let me just see where it is I gotta be careful not to run into any of these um, any of these saw blades that is uh, that's a big problem for me yeah that is a big problem okay no kill that kill the skeleton kill the skeleton you can see what's actually really funny about this as well is that I'm literally um, doing massive damage, or at least I think I'm doing pretty massive damage, but these enemies are still surviving for a very long period of time. And that just says everything you need to know. You need that damage. Oh yes, you need that damage. Okay, there we go. Let's just get that out the way. I'm just going to make sure I'm not missing anything. No, we're not missing anything. Okay. And then I can jump away over here and go through to the next room. And obviously, as you can quite clearly tell from the crawler duties in the top left, we have an overarching objective to eliminate the Dark Knight or someone, you know, along those lines. And um, hopefully that is going to be the final boss at the end. Now, I'm a bit worried about the fact that I haven't really specialized too much in ranged attacks. Because ranged attacks are probably the safest way you can win in this game. But uh, you've got to be real careful about them as well, because of course you have to stand still to use them. You can't just run away all the time and expect to kill things. So that's obviously a pretty big deal. Uh, let me just jump. Uh, yeah, go, sh yeah, don't get killed. Don't get killed. There we go. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Yes. Okay. I'm just being very careful here. Oh, there's a ring as well. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, I'm actually hopeful that I will be able to... Yeah, look at that. Oh, that gives me plus 10 damage. Nice. Okay, yes. give me that. I didn't have a ring before, so that's actually really nice. And I can now claim my reward, which is an outfit. Rice harvesting may not be much, but it's honest, back-breaking work. All right. Yes, indeed. Okay, so uh, if you want to take a look at your inventory, by the way, just press B on the keyboard, and then you can take a look at absolutely every single item you have. As you can see, I actually have some unique items here. I have a unique scepter and a unique sword, and doing pretty good. It's got a plus 20% chance to cause bleeding and a 3% chance to heal, which is actually really nice. Some things I have are pretty terrible. I have a 23% chance to heal, so maybe it would be a good idea for me to get something a little, a little better there. But yeah, anyway, let's just do some damage. Try to do melee as much as possible. Here we go. Oh, double my attack damage. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay, now we are really doing massive damage here. I actually wonder whether that's going to be the same for my melee attack or not. I'm actually not entirely sure. Anyway, maximum life or extraction. I think I'm going to just extract that one. What about this? Oh, this actually seems pretty good. We're going to take that and then extract our old ones. That seems nice enough. Let's just move away from here. And the way has now opened. So now I can just move over here. Just destroy all these things for additional essence. There we are. And then we can move on. Okay, yeah. So we have to search for Korgos, the Dark Knight. That is the... Uh, or the Dread Knight, or whatever his name is. Yes. I, you could tell that I'm already disrespecting him dramatically by not remembering his name. Indeed. Anyway, he's probably going to teach me a very harsh lesson when we meet, but, you know, not yet, because his denizens may very well kill me before I even arrive. Anyway, there we go. Get some more essence there. Let's do this. Whoa, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, got to be a bit problems. <laughs> got to be a bit problems. No, that's not actually correct. Thank you. According to the encyclopedia. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, the point is... I am having big problems here with these enemies, and I'm hopeful that I will not die. Okay, are you are you are you dead? Uh, okay, fantastic, they're all done. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, a golem beam. Okay, that's actually looking. Hmm. I'm wondering whether I should take it. It has a much greater chance to poison, which I very much appreciate. I'm gonna take that. There we go. Lots of essence for um, extracting from that one, which is very nice. Okay, so we have defense against melee. Uh, I think I'm probably going to be taking this. I know it doesn't. It seems a bit weird for me to, you know, disenchant the uh, the the blue item, but it was just much much better. Oh, we just leveled. I mean, not leveled. We just healed all the way to full HP. That's crazy. Oh, and oh, well, he's already here. Hello there, sir. 
Okay, you're gonna absolutely murder me. What do you bet? Yeah. Okay, this is... Oh, this is not a problem. This is not a... This is not good. This is not... This is not good. Hello. I'm just gonna run away from you, sir. Just gonna run away from you. Can I... Can I please shoot him? Oh, this is... This is real bad. Oh, this is... This is actually real bad. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to beat him? He has way too much HP. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm dead. I just don't have enough... Yeah, I just don't have enough HP or something. I'm actually not entirely sure. But that was basically my second run. I'm going to return to Sanctuary because I want to show you the meta, meta progression system. And there is a pretty significant one in place here. So here we go. We have a number of different N NPCs that you're going to be able to speak to. So for example, the blacksmith will allow you to enchant various pieces of gear, which again, you keep throughout your runs which I've got to say is a pretty cool system because most like, you know, mostly in, in roguelikes and roguelites, you're not really going to be keeping your gear. You're going to you lose that every single time. But no, not in this game. You do have a bit of a, um, you know, semi-hardcore sense of gear progression in the game as well, which is actually very cool. And so what you can do is you could take these enchantments and you can say, ah, oh, I'd like to enchant this item with 15 damage. However, the problem with this is that it is extremely expensive, as you might expect. Of course, it's extremely expensive to add 15 damage to a thing. That's pretty crazy, right? So yeah, anyway, these are all really expensive, but you can do that. So that is another facet of the customizations that you have access to. Same thing with the Dominion runes here as well, but unfortunately, I have not encountered a Domination rune ever before. So not going to be able to do anything with that Surprise! however the law keeper is where things get very fun because what you're going to be able to do is you can increase your damage you can increase your life you can increase your defense your projectile damage your damage reflection magic find healing deadly strike and so on huge amounts of different upgrades available here so what i'm actually going to do is i'm probably going to increase my life how much do i need i need uh, rank 15 i'm at rank 2 right now I'd like to get additional damage a little bit here, I guess. A little bit more def- I guess I should just probably upgrade everything, right? I should probably upgrade everything. Uh, let's go for some more, I mean, let's- Damage, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. More life, I guess. More defense. Uh, more damage. And there we have it. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good. And then you can also manage your cosmetics. So as you can see, I unlocked the Viking. Get ready to pillage and plunder in this fierce costume featuring a horned helmet, sturdy armor, and a fearsome mustache. And as you can see, there you go. Boom. We've automatically changed our cosmetics. And then we also have this, which is obviously the Harvester. I will be playing as the Viking this time around because I think that's quite fun. And apart from that, you can also change your wings. So if you want to have the Cerulean Crest, you can do that, or the Rose Feathers, or the Sunflower Feathers, or any of these. There's a massive amount of, of choice here. You also have attachments. So for example, let's say uh, the Elegant Fit, or the Common Antlers, a Common Eye Patch, for example, or Tusks. You can even have Tusks if you want to. So there's any number of customizations there. You also have a companions. Uh, I don't know how you get companions yet, but I can only assume it's random about when you unlock those. And then you also have the ability to, uh, I'm actually not entirely sure, change these. I, I don't know how, I, I don't know what these are. I guess the, they are cosmetic changes for Sanctuary itself, which is where you currently are, of course. And so there you have it. That's basically all there is to it in regards to the meta progression system so very much needing to just run more unlock more cosmetics have more fun with trying to find the best weapons possible because for me i'm not i'm not entirely sure whether i have very good weapons right now do i i think i do i mean it's poison right but the problem is i think my main issue with dealing with the final boss is i did not have enough ranged attack because my melee attack was absolutely fantastic for dealing with uh, trash mobs and regular enemies. But dealing with uh, the boss himself, very hard. Very, very hard indeed. At least that's what I felt. Um, so yeah, that's obviously a pretty big deal. So that's the kind of thing you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be a bit more aware that the enemy, the big enemy at the end, is who you're directly going to have to try and itemize yourself against or skill yourself against as well. In other words, you do need to be 
very, very careful about what kind of skills you take. And I'm going to do that. I'm very much going to do that. Okay, here we go. Unleash fiery havoc to your surroundings. 5% chance to heal or fire an additional projectile. Well, here's the thing. Fiery havoc is an ability. So I'm thinking I'm going to take that, actually. So now, as you can see, at the top left of the screen, that is bound to H right now. So what I can do is I can use Fiery Havoc. I'm actually just going to summon some more enemies just so you can see what it does. Boom, there it is. That's Fiery Havoc right there. It has a 15 second cooldown. It is not tied to any uh, any resource whatsoever. So there's no, no mana or energy or anything like that. So you're not going to have to worry about it at all. You can just wait for the cooldown to come back and then you're absolutely fine. So once again, I can just use this. Boom, everyone's dead. Absolutely fantastic. Heal yourself for 150 life. Well, that's not particularly useful for me right now, unfortunately. I'm going to go for a plus 10% maximum life. These guys leave bombs on the floor when they die. Well, that is to be expected, I suppose. Okay, let me just do this. Get more essence, please. The more essence I can get, the better. As we've seen, essence is extremely, extremely important. And let me see if I can summon I'll these guys. There we go. We got some more of that. There we go. Massive damage being done there. And we just need one more summon, which should be over here. Attack. There we go. And I think I should be fine with just a melee attack. There we go. Okay, 20% chance to expel a wisp on attack. I don't exactly know what that means, but we're going to take it because that might be quite fun. So let's try it out and see what happens. And there we go. Now we can actually make our way through and so on so yeah that's basically the core gameplay loop of nightcrawlers and i gotta say i'm kind of hooked on it because these kinds of games really either hit or miss for me where sometimes i'm gonna be like oh okay yeah i can definitely see how it's fun and then i just i just go okay yeah i can definitely see why someone would like it however some games just kind of get their claws into me and this one has definitely done that and so, yeah, you, you might want to check it out. You might want to check it out. Anyway, the heavens fracture and strike nearby enemies. Sounds fun. Let's do that. Okay, the door has opened. I have no idea what it means when uh, the, the uh, things, you know... Oh, range damage. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, but I have no idea what it means when the heavens open. Oh, I see. I have to use it. Okay, so it's a usable ability. So I can use that with J as well. Obviously, the keyboard controls are a little bit clunky right now because, of course, you can't customize them. And that's the reason why they recommend a controller. But I have not had any issues whatsoever. I, I personally you? don't find it difficult to use these, but it could just be me. There's the uh, lightning attack, as you can see. Seems to be an, a massive AOE uh, of some kind. Uh, has like a 25 second cooldown or something like that, it seems. Um, so yeah, that's obviously pretty powerful ability and you're going to have to make the most of that. I'm just going to kill this. Dodge away, dodge away. Run, 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 run. Don't, don't die. Don't die. Uh, there we go. Okay. Fantastic. He is going to die soon. Hopefully. Well, he's taking very little damage. There we go. All right. Critical strike chance damage. Uh, yeah. Critical strike chance and damage is what I'll take. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I think generally maybe my mistake in the previous run was not to take any skills, but I got a bit unlucky with what kind of things I, were, I was unlocking. Although to be fair, can I really consider myself unlucky if I had insane melee damage? You know, because my melee damage was really, really good. So that was the one thing that was kind of causing me maybe to have some issues. But anyway, as you can see, massive damage from the lightning strike here. And they're just all dead. Very nice and easy there. And there we have it. Okay. Yeah, so that actually could have been kind of useful to me, the lightning strike thing. Because imagine I put down the light lightning strike and the boss was just standing in it for a lengthy period of time. It would probably do some pretty devastating damage to him. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of right now. Anyway, I'm just going to summon this. Just going to run away. Just going to keep them inside the field. And wow, that was really, really easy. Okay, we might go for... Summon a barrage of molten rock. Okay, let's summon a barrage of molten rock. Why not? Sounds like a fun idea. So that means that I should probably go over to the other summon area and try and get another one. Let's, uh, let's try and use that out. Uh, use that. Let's try it out, shall we? Okay, here we go. Molten Rock. Boom. Oh, okay. So it's basically a similar thing to the lightning 
but um, whoa, that's actually pretty cool, actually. I would have liked to have seen it a little bit more, but obviously I ran down the stairs, so that kind of didn't really help us that much, but oh well. Can't really do much about that, can I? Anyway, let's have a look at this. Staff damage, uh, minion damage. Ooh, I don't know, actually. I think I'm going to equip this, surprisingly enough. I'm I'm taking much more common gear when I shouldn't really be doing that, to be honest. Okay, let me just run away here. Use this. Okay, so what we've got... Ah, so what we've got to do is we've got to be real careful where we summon this, as you can see. And then the enemies can basically just run through it. Kind of want something that slows opponents if I can get that. I'm not sure if there's anything like that, but hopefully we'll be able to find it. Um, but yeah, there we go. The way forward has now been opened. Seems like this meteor ability or the fiery circle ability that we've just unlocked is not really that long of a cooldown. So I shouldn't have too many difficulties in using that multiple times. So that's actually pretty cool. I like that. Whoa, this is a... This is not a good place to be. All right, I'm going to actually run away from here. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's just use my lightning strike. Get them all dead. I'm just going to stand here and allow my, my ranged attacks to kill anyone that comes close. There we go. Okay, we're, fi we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Okay, no one else to speak of coming up here. So, that, yeah, as you can see, this is just a completely different play style that we are adopting in this run in comparison to the previous one where we were basically just in the thick of things. We were in the thick of things the whole time. This obviously is a little bit different from that. I'm hopeful that I'm actually not going to die. Kind of wish I had a little bit more attack speed with my ranged attack, to be honest. Can we get double my attack damage, double my maximum life? Okay, wow. The, any number of any number of things could be super, super good here. I'm going to double my attack damage, I suppose. That's probably going to be the thing that I'll take. Okay, let me just... Oh no, this is bad. Okay, I'm just going to summon my lightning. I'm uh, just going to jump around, jump around. Ah, oh, there we go. Jump around. Jump around. Yeah, yeah, you see the song? You know, you get that. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's see if there are any... Oh, this guy's still alive. No, get out, get away from here. Get away. No, no, no. You're, you're dead. You're dead. There, thank you. Okay, there we are. Okay, absolutely perfect. I was running around in a panic there for a real quick second. All right, so we're absolutely fine. Uh, we are taking some pretty heavy damage now. Which kind of makes me think maybe I should have gone for some more defense or something like that. But how much defense can you really go for, you know? You, you're going to have to choose something eventually. You're going to have to choose some kind of attack eventually. Because otherwise, how are you going to kill anything, you know? I'm just going to jump up here. Just kind of give them the run around. And kill that. There we go. There's another ring. Okay, the ring could be kind of useful. Can you kill that, please? Oh, okay, well, I'm just going to kill them myself. And let's actually have a look here. Okay, so let's see. Wand damage, minion damage. No, that's not particularly useful. Did did I open up the um, the gate? No, I didn't. Okay, one more of these then. Okay, let's just summon this. We can also summon this. We could summon both of them at the same time. Can you imagine how much damage is actually going to be able to be done with this to the boss? So that's the point. The only thing I need to do when we come across the boss is survive and i know i know that's probably going to be kind of hard isn't it yeah that's probably going to be kind of difficult but we can just try our best and hope that our playstyle, uh you know pays off let me see here okay I'll let's just get this you. out of the way okay i'm just gonna summon this summon this I'm just gonna run away let my ranged attacks do damage if anyone gets close no one's getting close. Okay, you're all dead. Okay, great. <laughs> that seems to be my playstyle right now. Literally just, you know, plop some things down on the floor and then run away to the hills. Yeah, that seems like what we're doing right now, which is perfectly fine as long as it works, you know. As long as it works, that's perfectly fine with me. All right, let's just do this. Nice. Okay, movement speed, melee damage. Now I'm just going to go for plus 5% damage. Even though plus 5% damage is kind of eh as it is. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. Okay, we gained some really, really good boots. Very nice. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. And let's just um, get rid of everything else. That's perfectly fine. We can just, you know, extract that for all the essence that we want. And is the door open? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm just going to go over here real fast and just destroy all of this. There we go. Nice little bit of essence to go along with it. Okay, here we go. I'm wondering when they're going to need me to do something with arcane 
uh, towers because we haven't actually done anything with those for quite some time. So I'm actually kind of wondering what's happening with that. Anyway, shouldn't have to worry too much. Let's just use all my spells at once here. Murder everything. Oh, another rare item. Look at that. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. That is an amazing item for me. And I am, I'm, I'm decked out. I'm looking real good right now. Okay, so let's actually just do this, do that. Oh, okay. We, uh, yeah, mm hmm. Okay, that didn't work because we're on a different elevation. Okay, that's bad. Uh, okay, let's use this. Okay, now they're going to have to run in here. They're going to all die from this, I'm pretty sure. There we go. A way forward emerges. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and as I've said, if you want to, you could just continue killing enemies as much as you want. So you can do that if you want to uh, for extra gear, potentially. Because maybe you've got a bunch of items with extra magic find or something on them. I don't know. But, you know, that might be a, a good strategy if you are uh, not having a uh, particularly good run. But, of course, it might, not, it might also not be that good because then you might die. You know, you might get killed by the enemies. Okay, I'm just going to summon all of this. Just going to do that. Kill this guy. Just kill these. There we are. Okay, we're absolutely fine. Let's extract essence. Extract essence. Getting a lot of uh, a lot of loot here. A lot of loot that's not particularly that useful, but obviously that doesn't really matter to me so much. Considering we do have some very good gear right now. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Run. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's all I want to do. Just literally run away. Okay, so there we go. We did open the door. Let's try not to get absolutely impaled on the spikes. That would be wonderful. Okay, I'm wondering when uh, when the knight is going to pop up. Hopefully he's not going to pop up in somewhere like this. Because this is extremely close quarters. And I would not like to fight him here. Especially considering he could probably kill me in two hits at this point. I do need to get some kind of... Oh, are you serious? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course you do it now, you absolute imbecile. All right, let's let's try and let's try and do something to him here then. Okay, wait a minute. Is he is he stuck? Are you stuck, sir? Oh, if you're stuck, then I am very pleased. Okay, wait a minute. Oh no, you can jump. Ah no. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah uh, no. Yep, yep. I'm dead. Super super dead. Okay, I'm summoning these. Ah, too late. Yeah, I needed much more defense. Much more defense would have made a huge difference there. And I said to you, as I entered that room, I said to you, oh, wouldn't it just be wonderful if the boss would attack me in that area? Yeah, yeah. It, it was so wonderful, good. wasn't it? Uh, yeah, anyway, let's see what I can do here. Uh, I'm going to increase my defense a little bit more. Let's get more damage. Okay, finally, we've actually leveled up. Increase defense against hits, increase experience gain. Uh, that's actually seemingly pretty fun. Yeah, I think that's pretty fun. So we can get more abilities during the run. I think that sounds like a pretty nice Maybe idea. Celestia Didn't really get any additional cosmetics that time, unfortunately. But look at how many cosmetics there actually are. There are so yet. many different things. Really crazy. And I cannot wait to unlock more. And if you too cannot wait to unlock more things and play more of Nightcrawlers, then there is a link in the description for you to do just that. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.